Hello friends, welcome back to Booty's Emporium and of course to my very messy desk. Today I'm going to show you something rather interesting um, that uh, to do with your excess glue. It's a cheap way of making embellishments and, and fun things using your hot glue and any silicone moulds that you've got. So it's as simple as popping on your glue gun of course. And what we're going to do is we're going to carefully and gently, we're going to fill these moulds, and I'll show you how to do that, with the hot glue. We're going to try and not touch the silicon as much as possible, or for not, not for any sort of extended period of time. And, um, and we're going to, uh, to flatten it and let it dry. Now you can use glitter glues, coloured glues, whichever you like, or as I'm going to do today, you can use the clear glue. Now, I don't know about you, but over the years I've bought 1,500 billion <laughs> glue sticks, but trust me when I tell you there's some fantastic things that you can do with them. Now, if you've been uh, doing polymer clay or sugar craft or anything like that, there are lots of, of silicon moulds that you can use. And the super, uh, the super glue, the hot glue, doesn't stick to it so that's a thing just be careful with your fingers all right let's see have we have we got you hot enough almost 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 hot enough so the purpose of my tutorials is just to give you a quick something to do a great way of embellishing your journals and <clears throat> excuse me and uh, things like that to make you might want to even make things for school fates or fairs or or whatever, lots and lots of different applications that you can use and uh, mixed medias and so on. This one here is a lovely face. You know, you could um, paint it afterwards and then put petals around it or whatever you like. So, okay, are we good to go? We are good to go. So I'm simply going to, and hopefully you can see this well enough, I'm just going to go into the shape. Now what I like to do is I like to do some of it, not all of it, at a time so that I can tap it so that it sits as flat as possible um, on the back. That's what I like to do and I'll show you that in a moment. So I'll just pop that down and I'll give it a tap. And if you can see but that's made it go on a bit flat. No lumpy bits. Careful, don't get any hot glue on on that. I'll be in big trouble. Grass from the Dungeon made that for me for Christmas and sent that to me and it's just lovely. I'll give you a flip through of it one day. Not today because we want to try and get through this without the tutorial being too long. You know? Nice shaky hands, lovely. Just tuck it in those edges and those corners. The beauty about this is that it is trimmable. So, you know, if you get a little bit excess here or there, you can trim it up. If it's just not quite flat enough that you like on the back, then you can, you know, you can shave that. Don't want too much on his eye. Right. As I said, it's a great way to use up your spare glue sticks or, you know, if you if you can't afford to buy the fancy embellishments yourself but you've got some cool moulds, then that's the way to go. In you go. In. There we go. And you might find as it dries a little bit that some of it will come away from the edges. You'll start to see little bits that you've missed. And that's perfectly alright. It doesn't have to look glamorous with the glue because it's going to be painted. So let's fill up this hole.
still looking a bit messy, but you don't worry about that. Okay. And I'm just filling in, making sure it's as even as I can make it on the back. You know, obviously the more intricate, the more tricky. But, um, okay. So I think we've got it there. Just tacking it down on the edge of my desk like that and we'll let that dry. Now for something like this we're just going to start down at the nose and the mouth okay to get those features in, the eyes, the chin, and cover the face okay Find it's easier to go layer by layer, you know. Now you can make it as thick and as deep as you as you want to make it. This glue gun doesn't get quite as hot as I would like. I think a high temperature one is better in terms of you get a better flow of the hot glue, um, but you have to make extra sure, goodness me, you have to make extra sure that you don't touch your silicon mold with that. But I think you do get, you know, a better, a better response, a better result, I should say. Going around the edge now. Of course, using these long sticks is really good. You can use the small ones too, it just means you have to pop them in more often, you know. around patting it down just letting gravity flatten the back of that for me getting nice and, oh, I don't know if you can see, it's getting nice and flat. The other thing that I do, I mean that's not completely dry, but when it's still warm and I want to flatten it down a bit, I put it down and I press it flat. So I'll give that a couple of minutes to dry. But here's the great thing, let me just turn that off. As I can tell you, if there's something hot, I burn myself. Something sharp, I cut myself. So, you know. But here's what I've been doing. Uh, let me see. I've had a, I had a sugar craft mold and it's an ornate frame. See that here? Just beautiful. Now it's a lot of work to fill. And I did like a little piece at a time, tap, 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 a little bit more, tap, 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 until it was all filled. And then um, I went through, as, as it dries, you'll find it might pull away a little bit. And I went through and touched up as much as I could. All right. And I let that dry thoroughly. And I'll show you what it looks like.
and here we are here you see now you see it might look much when it comes out of the mold and just the bits of plastic and I've cleaned up as much as I can around the edges with a, a sharp knife and then I've gone over with just a little bit of a, a sand around the edges you can still see little bits but it doesn't matter and now I'm just painting it and that's when all that beautiful work shows out now if you were to go and buy something like that can you imagine how much that would cost you now the I think the mold was about $13 which is not cheap but how many times can you use that just gorgeous so I just think that's just the best idea how are we going there now that's just going to is it going to yes it's going to lift right out see that now there's got little bits that can be cleaned up and that's perfectly okay just a, a tool of that kind you know blade scalpel something sharp and we're just going to cut away the excess it's just that simple from the back I mean it does look kind of cool it looks like cobwebs in there but just for the point of showing you a little bit inside there I want to cut off and so I'll just go in there carefully see I haven't got exactly the right shaped knife uh, sorry I'm just gonna block it for a minute I realize I should have one that's got a more of a rounded blade this is sort of like fine work for the tip you know there we go a little bit off there I said a little bit off there and there you have your jack-o-lantern with his jagged teeth and so then I'm seeing as I've got this paint out I'll do it with this one and I'll show you with this one as well I've got some beautiful metallic bronze and it paints very very well now you can paint it with I wouldn't paint it with an oil based paint but in a water based paint acrylic is fine a couple of coats and you're good to go and it's the paint that brings up all the uh, the details you see now you can paint the inside of the eyes and the nose and the mouth in black and that will make it look even more awesome now the cool thing about doing this, especially for your Halloween, is you can get glow-in-the-dark glue sticks. So you could, you know, you could put a brooch back on it, you could make a necklace out of it, just glue a, a bale on it, you know. So many things you can do. And that's just it with one coat, okay. So this is quite firm and I'm just very easily very simply just putting the metallic paint on it now if I want to age it a little bit once it's dry I can do a black wash and uh, bring up the details and um, give it that sort of more vintage antique look which I may well do and um, yeah it's really just that simple you see and this is only one coat I'll go through and do a second coat and make sure I get all the little bits and pieces but that's how fabulously easy this is and honestly you can get molds and things from anywhere Aliexpress 
borrow it from a friend, you know, it's not going to hurt. Just trying to feel if this is dry enough to, to bring it out. Just. Now, I don't know if you can make that out, so what I'll do is I'll put a bit of paint on it so you can see her features. She's got a little bit of a bubble there, but it doesn't matter. You antique that up and put a little bit of, you know, like a turquoise colouring with some patina or something on it. And um, you could do some amazing things. If you wanted to, you could carve that down to, um, to a smooth finish. So there you go. What do you think of that, guys? You want to uh, you want to have a go at that? I would love to see what you do. I hope you've enjoyed that. So that's what uh, is on this messy old desk today. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.